Welcome, this is Dr. Manuel Johnson, and this is Only the Truth. And I'm coming into all your homes and, and your smart devices around the world. And like I always say in every broadcast, the good news is that we can overcome all, every bad news in Christ Jesus. And I have a very, 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 very special guest here today, a dear friend of mine that I've known over many years. Thank you for the background music engineer. Thank you. Her name is Gigi, Minister Gigi, and I've known her for many years. I've seen how the Lord has transformed her life. And, and, and the Lord has used her mightily, just mightily. And Gigi, I want to welcome you to Only the Truth today. God bless you. Wow. For me. You know, and she also, you know, our dear friend, she also has a YouTube page where it's gaining momentum. Oh, yes. And she talks about the things of the Bible. Especially, it seems to be that rapture is her favorite subject. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> You know, so in my, in any words, I'm going to tell you, she likes talking about going up, not going down. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well you know, and you know, and I'll tell you something, and there's been quite a different uh, controversies there that are happening in, in the world. Right now, we are in a situation to where we're hearing so much happening around the world, you know from our nation to other nations and nobody you know shall I say a lot of people don't know what's going on they have no idea what's mm. going on yeah, sure. and I'll tell you something but the scriptures tells us to keep our eyes on the Lord keep our eyes on the Lord it is important minister Gigi it's important that we understand times and seasons you know yeah times and seasons and I and I noticed on your YouTube page that that you you emphasize on the times we're living in yeah you yeah. emphasize on that yeah we're living in perilous times mm. and when I started it's amazing how much has come to pass from when I started fulfilling end time Bible prophecy you know, what we're seeing around the world right now is literally uh, breathtaking mm. the entire globe wearing a mask and and people need to question why this is happening because it's related to what's about to happen that's that, that's written in the book 2000 years ago mm. and so what, before that so would you say the the spirit of fear <laughs> has 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 been the bigger plague versus the virus for sure mm -hmm. well especially since there's so many lies involved in the virus if you look at what's behind it I mean they planned this thing in a thing called event 201 Last year in December, uh, Bill Gates was there and uh, World uh, Health Organization people, and they were talking about what would happen if there was a pandemic. What would we do? Well, how did they know about it before it started? Mm. You got to wonder. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's a lot of evidence, I mean, literally written proof that they planned it. And people are walking around afraid instead of questioning why somebody's got the whole, everyone on earth wearing a mask right now. And you tell me something's not wrong, something's not right, I mean, something's not right. Okay, and so people need to wake up because this thing has a future, it's just begun. People are thinking it's going to get better, it's going to get worse. And... Um, you know, whether I go into it now or <clears throat> a little later, but it is connected to the end time. Yeah, because scripture tells Mark us that the, beast. the scripture yeah. tells us that we that we that we're gonna be we're gonna be experiencing birth pains. You yeah. know, and, yeah. and they're going to increase. Well, the earthquakes have increased mm -hmm. incredible. There's, there's been huge sinkholes, tsunamis, um, hurricanes, you know, biblical proportion. I mean, places have been wiped out in floods all over the globe for the past several years. It really increased right around when we had the tetrad blood moons in 2014 and 15. That's when you started seeing a lot of uh, disasters, natural disasters taking place. I mean, right. Uh, you know, not normal. You not know, normal. And, 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 and interesting that the Bible, the scripture tells us in Matthew 24, and I look at this because they're, out of all the things, 
when the dis disciples, and uh, Mr. Andrew, you can put that photo up. Disciples are talking, uh, Jesus is talking to his disciples about the end times. Mm -hmm. He's talking to them about the end times. And as he's talking to them, you know, they actually went to Jesus and says, Lord, tell us when these things will come. Right. And one of the things that he, he said, uh, that's the millennium for a picture um, um, that he's putting up right now. And that's the rapture picture he's putting up uh, that you're seeing. Uh, there, but there's, there's a photo where it shows that he, Jesus is talking to his disciples and he's telling them about the end times. Mm -hmm. And as he's showing them the end times, or explaining mm -hmm. it to him, he says, first of all, be not deceived. So we know there's going to be a massive deception around the world. Right. You know, right. Uh, things that would be highly inflated. Right. right. Uh, uh, and, and he tells us not to fear. Right. He says it a few times in Matthew 23. He says, do not fear. Do not fear. Because we haven't been given the spirit of fear. But a power of love and a sound mind. But love. a power love and a sound mind. And I believe it's that in Timothy. But um, yeah. saints, we have good news. We know where we're going. You know? Amen. We know where we're going. That's the great things. Man doesn't have our future. Our future is in God's hands. It is very important that we have to understand that, you know, some of us are being, being so drawn to the media, so, uh, so seduced by the things that they're hearing in the media and thinking that they're controlling. God is in total control. That's why he gave us, as Minister Gigi said, 22,000 years ago, he's already prepared us for this day. Yeah, he did. You know? 2,000 years, he's already prepared us of things to come. We're living in a generation of acceleration. We are. It's things that are just moving quick, 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 you know. You know, yeah. uh, things, earthquakes, like you said, increasing, right, all right. these wars, rumors of wars. Things are, we're in, we're in, a, in, in a, a season of acceleration. Now, the scripture tells us that, you know, nobody knows the time or, or day, but, but God does give us clues. He certainly does. In fact, in Matthew 24, it talks about the, the fig tree parable mm -hmm. and how Jesus is talking about the abomination of desolation, rapture, um, the things that are going to come to pass. And then he says, uh, this generation will not pass away until all these things come to pass. Mm -hmm. And he was referring to the, the parable of the fig tree, which is the the generation that saw the birth of Israel in 1948. Mm -hmm. So if you look at Psalm um, 90 and verse 10, it talks about what a generation is. It talks about uh, man's given 70 years, maybe 80 mm -hmm. with strength. Mm -hmm. So if you, if, you, um, if you calculate 1948, add 80 years mm -hmm. at the maximum, you've got 2028. But he said 70, that's the first thing he said is 70, and if by strength, 80. So that's not the normal general population. Right, right. He said, these people will see the abomination of desolation, the rapture, the second coming of Christ. So that's how, you know, that's how close we are to the end. And Wow. Now let know. me ask, ask you a question. Now, we've had some scholars and some people mm. that have said, and I know you, you get that. I just wanted to see your your answer on that. There's been some people that have said they have seen beyond this. God has shown them, uh, they have shown them visions or dreams or experiences mm -hmm. that they have seen beyond this. Now, every one of them says there's going to be a rapture, just like you said. Every one of them says that Jesus is going to come and take this church out. Every one of them says that. But the time frames have been a little different. They didn't give a, t an, a day. They didn't give an hour. They just said, we have seen, God has shown <laughs> us where it, 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 you know, that visions to where it was taken into a different scenario, uh -huh. a different scenario. And um, it was, so I'm saying, Gigi is not giving us a day and an hour. I'm not either, okay? But she's saying it's close. She's saying it could happen. It can happen. You know, it is, the scripture does say it's in the Father's hands. But we do have the, see, I am interested because I would like to know. I would like to know. Now, God has shown me certain things. I'm not going to talk about it on this program. 
I, I, because I brought my dear friend Gigi because I, I want to, I want her to tell us what, what she believe God has been showing you. Well, Matthew 24 also says, um, if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief was coming, that's good. He would have, uh, he would have not let his house been broken into. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Therefore, I say, watch, because you don't know what hour. He comes. You don't know what hour he comes. So, but he's not saying I'm not going to tell you. Mm -hmm. He's saying watch because I don't because I haven't told you exactly. But if you watch, just like if the if the owner of the house had watched, okay, he would have known when the thief was going to come. So he's he's telling us it's the same thing with watching for the Lord. Mm -hmm. He is going to show us things Do because you we don't know the hour. It's yes, why true. we're watching, not so that we never know anything. Right. You see? Your, your, your followers on uh, YouTube, do they consider you a, a watchman on the wall? Do they consider you a watchman? I, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because you've been a very good encourager to them. It's the Lord. I'm telling you, the Lord. The Lord has used you. Because you know, people are desperate, to be honest with you. They're, mm -hmm. And it's getting, and I, I'm so grateful I started before all this mm -hmm. stuff started with the pandemic because you know, it gives you a lot of, I mean, we have people, you know, I, I look at people's dreams they've had, words of knowledge, um, you know, and then the Bible prophecies and what's going on around the world. But like you have people who had a dream years ago, for example, who, and you, and you see stuff like this when you're watching, because you just tune into it. You know, the Holy Spirit says, I'll lead you and guide you into all truth. But like, for example, there's one person who had a dream that, of syringes. Mm-hmm you know, which what they're coming out with, right? With this COVID thing. And that the time of the rapture was when these syringes came out. Mm. And this was years ago before this person knew anything about, no one knew what was, no one knew what the enemy had planned, how he was gonna bring about what will be the mark of the beast. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of, this, this thing is gonna turn into the mark of the beast. And it already has the stamp of 6666 all, all over it. Okay? As John, as John says, yeah. you know, the spirit of Antichrist is already in the, in the earth. So, we, so right. we see types and shadow of these things coming. But the Antichrist himself is going to be given three and a half years of total power over mm -hmm. everyone on the earth. According to the scriptures, the you're tribulation, absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And anyone who does not take the mark of the beast will be condemned to the wrath of God and hellfire. Okay, I mean... Um, now, believers in Christ, you know, we're saved by faith and grace of God. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, but the people who aren't saved out there, they could get, they could get caught up in this lie and take, because there's going to come a day not too long from now where they're going to say, and it's already written, okay, and it's connected to HR 6666, okay, it's, mm -hmm. it's a bill. Um, they're going to say, it's a tat it's quantum tattoo. If you if you you got to put this thing, it goes on the right hand or forehead exactly like Revelation 13 says, to prove that you got the vaccination for the coronavirus, COVID-19. Now let me ask you a question. Now those that are here, that are watching me right now, mm -hmm. that are called by God, by the name of the Lord, and He calls you. You know that you are sealed by the Holy Spirit. Every one of you that you are sealed by the Holy Spirit, filled with the Holy Spirit. We know that the Lord protects his people. Yes, he does. He protects his people. Yes. And I can't tell you what to do or how to do. That knowledge of the Holy Spirit will tell you that, you know. Sometimes right, right. he tells us not even go to court with premeditated. Right, right. But right now, which, you know, I mean, I don't think we know how much we're going to see before the Lord comes. Mm-hmm. But because we're seeing the development of, of the mark of the beast, mm -hmm. and, and I'm grateful that God is doing it like this, mm -hmm. because we who have the knowledge of what's going on, mm -hmm. because of the Bible, uh, we can tell people ahead of time what's about to happen. True. And, and, you know, and Jesus said, you know, he yeah, tells yeah. you ahead of time so mm -hmm. that when it comes to pass, you may believe on him. So after the rapture, there's going to be a lot of people who... They heard us warning about don't take this thing. 
Soon it's going to be required on your right hand or forehead to get in a building or to buy or sell. Let me ask you this question. You're going to know yeah. Jesus told them. For, well, for the sake of time, let me ask you this yeah. question, Gigi. God, and I'll, I'll, actually, I'll let you answer it. God's coming for a fearful church or a fearless church? Fearless. There Hallelujah. you go. Hallelujah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Fearless. He's coming for a fear fearless church. church. Perfect love okay. casts out fear. Perfect love. Cast love. Out, fear. out fear. You see, this is an important. Many times, you know, no, the media wants to do things and uh, bring, to bring fear. God informs us of things to come. And, he, and it's extremely important that you walk in faith, live in faith. And you can't do that without Christ. You cannot do that without the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Okay? I am a firm believer of the rapture you know I've had I, I've had situations of dreams of this taking place you know I don't I can't give you the day I can't give you the hour you know it could happen tomorrow it could happen in 10 years it could happen in five years but the fact is it will happen some of us will be a part of that those are in the body of Christ and some of us would have already went home to be with the Lord you know normal mm -hmm. death or whatever happens right. But the main thing, me, I'm saying, Minister Gigi is saying, is to make sure you're right with God, you know? Yeah. That's the number one thing. Yeah. To make sure you're right with God. Wherever you are, because many of you are watching me right now around the world on different outlets, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. But it doesn't matter what outlet God chooses. You choose Jesus. You choose who you choose the, the truth the Bible says the truth will make you free I'm not not a deception lie I thank God for my dear friend Gigi how the Lord has used her to inform many of her followers on YouTube regarding the things that are happening in the world you know you can connect with her right now will you show that uh, mr. engineer you can connect with her on blue heaven subscribe to blue heaven Blue Heaven, go to the YouTube, go to your YouTube page and uh, look up uh, Blue Heavens and you can subscribe right there. And the, the engineer is going to put that on there on the screen right now. And you can subscribe there and you can follow her on her YouTube page. Very powerful, very powerful. And, you know, she's very, inform uh, very informative and uh, uh, she has also the, the Christian Jewish connection. And I like that. Mm. <laughs> you know, she goes to the different holidays uh, on her YouTube page uh, regarding, you know, uh, and then we just recently you did, she did something on the Jupiter and all that. So I just was very impressed on the way she put that together. God used her uh, in a very powerful way. And so I'm sure you will be very impressed and be blessed by, and she always gives, you know, as far as I know, she's always giving a salvation call, you know, and that's yeah. good because the bottom line, you got to know Jesus. Everybody is not going to be raptured. Some of us will go home before that happens, you know. Right. And you need to know Jesus. You need to know Jesus. And whether, like I said, whether we're here or whether we're gone tomorrow or whether we're here another 10, 15, 20 years, whatever happens, you must know Jesus. You must know Jesus. That's right. this, is, this is the bottom line, your, your eternity. Where are you going to spend eternity? Those that are watching me in India and, and, and Indonesia and, and Israel and, and uh, Palestinian, those that are watching me right now in Iran, those that are watching us in China, in Taiwan, many, you've got a lot of people from Taiwan watching, those that are watching us in America right now, are, I know you want me to mention Africa and South Africa and all parts of Africa and Egypt, those that are watching me in Germany right now, come on, yeah, I know, we know you, in London, Hallelujah! In Alaska, in era and island. Thank you. Thank you for watching and, and praying for us. And, and we're, we're getting your prayer requests. We're getting, we're getting them. All over the globe, we're getting them. And we know that there's needs. We, we serve a God that, has a, that, that, that is a miracle worker. That's a miracle worker. Mr. Engineer, thank you for the background music, please. We, we serve a God that has a miracle worker. He's a healer, a redeemer, and a deliverer. 
and he wants to set you free. The rapture is talked about, we were talking about the rapture because after that, and then and the enemy and the antichrist is subdued, there's going to be a thousand year millennium reign. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Can't wait. can't wait. Cannot wait for that one. It's going to be a thousand year millennium reign. <clears throat> and he can show that on the screen. A thousand year millennium reign. And we're going to be a part of it. And you want to be a part of it. How are you going to be a part of it? Do you know Jesus? Is he your Lord and is he your Savior? Do you know him? Hallelujah. I'm going to be a part of it and you're going to be a part of it. And I just want you to put on the screen again how to connect with our dear friend Gigi, Minister Gigi, and Blue Heaven, Blue, U, Blue Heaven YouTube. There, there it is. YouTube, subscribe at, G, at Blue Heaven. And she has a whole lot of material on there. And I believe you'll be blessed. And, and uh, uh, so, if, and many, everybody knows YouTube, you know. So, yeah. you know, and many more people have a YouTube account than they have a Facebook account. So, you guys know how to get a hold of us and continue to send your prayer requests to megapraiseministries.com. That's megapraiseministries.com. It's on the screen right there. Megapraiseministries.com. And we, we have our book, the, our book of the year, my latest book here, Crossing Over. Yeah, there you go. It's right there on the screen. Megapraiseministries.com, Crossing Over. I minister and uh, many things about hearing the voice of God, you know, walking with the Holy Spirit, forgiveness, and why the, if we don't want it, we don't want to carry bitterness. And uh, I, I go into the details. I, I help you get into that, get back, crossing over, getting into your Christian walk with the Lord, because it is a wonderful journey. And I talk about the, some of the prophecies from two, uh, uh, 2000 to the present, and I want you to be a part of that. Hallelujah. So you can get that book. And I'm going to tell you why. This helps us get the gospel out. We're on, um, Gigi, I believe we're at uh, 48 nations right now we're airing. Praise God. So God is, ex this is all God's glory. God has expanded our territory around the world and is more and more is coming as, 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 as we're being faithful. So this is a tool. So as you continue to sow into our ministry and send those prayer requests in, we want to send this out to you. And you can go on our website and you can get this into your hand. If you need it right away, you don't want to wait for the mail. <laughs> you, we have an e-book available. We have, and, we have, and we have other gifts and other tools on our ministry to help your Christian walk. From the beginner to the mature, deep, meek Christians. We have different books, several books and different tools, different tools out there. To, to enhance your Christian walk. So we want you to draw closer to the Lord. And, we, and, and especially, we're living in the times that we have to draw closer to God. We have to, you know? Yes. The media is not the answer. Let me tell you the answer. It's the gospel. It's the gospel. It's the gospel. Yes, and we have is. some of, many of your prayer yes. requests here. And I'm going to have Amen. Minister yeah. Gigi come and lay hands on it right now with me. Come on, Gigi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lay hands right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you right now. Father, we pray for every prayer request. Now, those that are watching me right now, I want you to pray with me. Pray with me. I want you to join. My faith is going to be joined to your faith right now. We're going to pray for these prayer requests right now in thank Jesus' Lord, name. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, heal. Lord, deliver. Lord, set free. Hallelujah. Father, bring them home. Bring them home. Bring the loved ones home, Father God. Lord, open their eyes. And those that do not know you, Lord, Father, we, Lord, I know that, we're, that you're, you're hearing these prayers. You're answering these prayer requests. Lord, we just speak miracles around the world, around the world in the name of Jesus, around the world, around the world, Father God. Father, Lord, we just let the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit, and, Lord, that are receiving us through their airwaves in Jesus' mighty Hallelujah. name. Thank we you. touch and agree right now. Thank amen you, and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Thank I believe you. right now. If you have prayed with me, Mr. Gigi, around the world, I want you to believe God for your miracle. Believe God. Continue to send them in. We get every one of those prayer requests that you send in. We download it. We have those in our ministry to pray for them. And we pray for them on television because we know we serve a miracle God. And he has good things for us. Glory to God. Amen. But, saint, there's something I want to tell you. Do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Is he your Lord and Savior? Not, to, not, not just a prophet, not just a good philosopher, not just a teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, the scripture says he was more than that. The scripture says that he was Lord and Savior. And he reigns and he sits on the right-hand side of the Father. You can know him right now. 
You can secure your internal destiny right now. How do you do that? Is your heart ready? Is your heart stirred up? He paid a price that he didn't owe, and we owe a debt, minister Gigi, that we could never pay. No. And that was Jesus, and he paid it for us. We owe. So right now, you can clear that debt right now. Pray with us right now. Me and Gigi, we're going to pray with you. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Into my life. I believe you're the Son of God. I believe you're the Son of God. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me right now, Lord. Yeah. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Right now, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I'm yours forever, Lord. If you prayed with me and you meant it with all Hallelujah. your heart, Hallelujah. you have been, you're a child of God. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Get into a, a spirit-filled church. You know, if uh, uh, Google and uh, you, can, you can Google a lot of uh, main things. Google our ministry. We want to help you. We want to hear from you. Let us know that you've given your life to the Lord so we can send you out some material to help you with your new Christian walk. And I want to thank my guest, wonderful G, my dear friend and guest, Gigi. And once again, you can get her on YouTube, Blue Heaven. And we'll see you next time on Only the Truth. And remember, the good news is that you can overcome every bad news in Christ Jesus. Bye-bye. Love you. Amen.